and welcome you to this class once again on IFRS for SME and here we have a practical question that we'll be using for conversion of an entity's financial statement prepared in their local gap to IFRS standard either for IFRS for full conversion for IFRS rather or for IFRS for SME so with this question we have to exercise or implement all that we know about IFRS and I will seek your indulgence that while listening to this lecture series you should pay proper attention to it and follow it practically because this is a practical section of all the IFRS who have been mentioning so Mike St. Mike Limited statement of earnings for the year ended 31st December December 31st rather 2011 this statement is prepared in US GAAP as we can see dollar signal there net sales cost of goods sold as you can see these are the financials that have been prepared by an entity so our job is to convert it to IFRS standard okay so the financials will be given to you these are a statement of earnings for the year ended 34 December as you can see the information you know highlighted on them okay so the expenses side you can see the expenses operating expenses side salary uh, salary expense utility advertising repairs and maintenance depreciation expense bad debt expense amortization expense all the expense sum up to be two hundred and one thousand six uh, two hundred and one thousand six hundred by the time you minus uh, by the time you minus that from the from the uh, gross profit or gross margin we're going to have one two four two hundred so other revenue and gains as you can see dividend revenue uh, gains on sales of investment other expense other expense and losses you can see interest expense you can see loss or loss on inventory write down loss on retirement of debt you can see all oh, so income from continuing operation before taxes is been given as you can see it here so then income tax expenses deducted do not have income from continuing operation so discontinue operations are as follows can see this continue operations we deduct this from it we have uh, we have our net income to be 51,493 then we have the statement of comprehensive income it is split it is, is not is not uh, combined together so the statement of comprehensive income for the year ended 31st December or December 31st 2011 also in thousand you can see the net income that we arrived that we are uh, that was arrived from the Profit or loss statement fifty one thousand nine uh, four nine three will be brought, uh, will come in as net income. Then other in comprehensive income will be added to it, uh, which is uh, on un unrealized gain on available for what on the available for sales security, and that is it. So it is the net of tax. So net of tax is what we have there. So comprehensive income is the total comprehensive income is sixty. 983 so we now have the statement of changes in equity for the year ended so this uh, the financials of the company will be given to us and our duty is to convert it to IFRS standard so this is a statement of uh, changes in equity for the year ended December 31st 2011 as you can see it's prepared then you can see statements of financial position as of December 31st 2011 so you can see the statement of financial position you will also be given and you can see the balancing value in total agreed so information for conversion to IFRS basis these are the information for conversion to IFRS basis so this is where our work starts let's look at the information together and as we are looking at the information we will also be analyzing the standards the standards that govern the information the standards that governs the information the IFRS standard that governs the information 
we will we'll quickly be stating that okay so what i'll be doing here is that uh, the first page of our solution uh i want to put the guidance let's put the guidance the guidance for conversion let's put it that way to have information item they will have the i as the ias or the ifrs that is guiding such standards okay so let's see the items the additional information or notes to the account since mike limited plans to use the fair value measurement model option for reporting its land under ifrs the company has optioned uh, the company has obtained independent real estate appraiser as follows so uh, uh, additional information one or uh, statement one we can be using the ias 16 will be in force ias 16 is what we will use and ias 16 deals with what item of ppe item of ppe property plant and equipment so that is it that is IS guiding that uh, that will be in force when we are trying to well, by the time we want to correct that or convert the statement the financials into IFRS standard. Two, this discontinue operation presented in St. Mike Limited 2011 US GAAP financial statement relates to a disposal in 2011 of the company stores in Florida. So St. Mike Limited continues to operate retail stores in other parts of the world, of the eastern U.S. The Florida operation had that we are sold qualify as an assets group, but not as a separate major line of business or geographical area of operation. So the income from operation of the Florida store of 16920 before tax from the beginning of the year to the sales date was determined as follows the net sales, the cost of goods sold, salary expense and what have you so the cost of goods sold figure of 22,500 22, is computed on a LIFO basis and you know the IFRS frown at LIFO the available uh, approach is what well. the available method of uh, inventory is what well. is FIFO and uh, weighted average. So that means we have to alter that statement. We have to change it. So the figure would be the same under the average cost method. So item two, item two will be governed by IFRS five. IFRS 5 which is what non current asset head for sales and discontinued non current asset head for sales and discontinued operation non current asset head for sales and discontinued operation IFRS 5 we take care of that uh, additional information by the time we will be converting it to uh, uh, IFRS okay item 3 What's the problem with item 3? Let us quickly locate item 3. What do we have there? Item 3. Information related to its cost of inventory and cost of goods sold. You can see inventory LIFO is uh, in LIFO value, inventory weighted average cost value, cost of goods sold LIFO, and uh, uh, we have cost of goods sold average cost approach. So if, uh, so that is uh, item 3 will be governed item 3 will be governed by will be governed by IAS number 2 IAS number 2 which is dealing with inventories it is dealing it, it dealt with inventory so IAS number 2 will be in place while correcting that 
uh, why, when converting. <coughs> Beg your pardon. So, number four, if permitted by IFRS, St. Mike Limited would like to present its other comprehensive income in the same way it has been chosen for its US GAAP financial statement. So, number four is what? Is IS number one, which is presentation of financial statement. Number, uh, number four is IS number one, we take care of that. Uh, uh, IS one, we take care of it by the time we start the conversion. Let's see five. The bank overdraft of eight thousand uh, eight thousand five hundred exists on a checking account at what City Group. Okay, so this particular account sometimes is overdrawn, and when that happens, the overdraft automatically converts to a loan balance. So St. Mike Limited does not have any other cash account at City Group. At City Group. Okay, so that will be taken care of. That's uh, number four. We'll be taking care of also, sorry, number five rather. Number five will be taken care of by IS number seven, which is statement of cash flow. IS number seven will take care of item number five. By the time we we'll get there, we'll consult IS number seven. IS number seven, which is statement of cash flow. Okay. So this is what you do when you, when the, when the client gives you its financials. Look at the additional information to it and try to what uh, to apply to determine the IFRS or the IAS that is what that we correct such an error. So this is a practical approach you must take while trying to convert a financial the financials of a company to IFRS, be full IFRS or the uh, uh, IFRS for SME. So at the year ended 2010, St. Mike Limited has notes receivable totaling 61,300. St. Mike Limited recognized impairment of these receivables in 2010 amounting to 15,700. So the company has determined that the same, the same write down would have been needed in IFRS financial statement for 2010. At the year ended 21, at the year ended 2011, St. Mike Limited continues to hold these notes and the debtor, the debtor's credit rating has improved, have all, have improved dramatically. As a result, the present value of the expected future cash flows from these, from the notes has increased to their full face value of, uh, seven, uh, uh, 77,000. Of seven seven thousand, so that is item number six. Item number six will be governed by financial instrument recognition and measurement. That is IS number thirty nine. We'll be dealing with that. So to deal with that, IS number thirty nine will deal with that. IS number thirty nine will be consulted while dealing with that. Uh, 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 note our uh, item six. Item seven. During 2011, Saint Mike Limited op operation in uh, Virginia, we are hit by the biggest earthquake to uh, 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 by the biggest what earthquake to occur in that area. That occur in that uh, to occur in that area in more than a century. So the company suffered losses to, faci to, fa to, fa to facilities and inventory totaling 29,900 before tax. Before tax. So the IRS number one will also deal with that, which is a, a, a presentation of financial statement. It will be presentation of financial statement. Number seven, IRS number one will take place there. That is dealing with presentation of financial statements. So item eight, item eight, St. Mike Limited has gathered the following information re related to the market value of its inventory at 31st December, at uh, December 31st, 2011. Replacement cost, ne uh, net realizable value, net realizable value reduced by normal profit of uh, 174.30. And uh, number eight is still what inventory, inventory. Deal, it will be dealing with that. Number eight is inventory. Eight is what inventory, which is what IS, IS number two. IS number two will be dealing with that. Okay. Number nine. St. Mike Limited deferred income taxes on that world US gap at the year ended 21, uh, 21, at the year ended 2011, 
we are as we are as follows please we are as follows current deferred income tax assets current deferred income tax liability and uh, non current deferred income tax assets the non current deferred income tax liability all of the above deferred income tax amounts we are levied by the same taxing authority st mike limited must determine how the deferred income tax should be presented under the ifrs and that is still dealing with what presentation of financial statement to is number one is still applicable assuming the company income tax rate for all the years and the income tax item is 35 percent for any adjustment that create a change in that created that creates a change in st mike limited income taxes recognize the effect of the change in income tax through the company's deferred income taxes accounts that is just a note so no IES or IFRS that uh, is responding to that okay so information one as I said relating to land and uh, uh, and uh, three relating to inventory costs required work uh, you must take note of that the information one and information three we are going to treat them retrospectively retrospectively so are, retrospectively that what we are going to effect it before okay take it back therefore information item six relating to note receivable is 39 paragraph 65 will deal with that as i said earlier on information item nine relating to presentation of different income tasks is number 12 paragraph 74 will deal with that so for information item number 10 relating to calculation of different income tax the correct figure for the next deferred income tax at December at December 31, 2011 is what is uh, 7805 credit as you can see in the question by the time we get there what we we'll quickly I will show you that value okay so that is how we are going to work it out so that, is, that will be our guidance